Illegal tobacco is a danger to public health and public finances, as well as contributing to underage smoking and financing organized crime. Illegal tobacco costs governments 40 to $50 billion in lost taxes every year. Illegal tobacco traffickers don't pay tax on what they sell, so they can offer people cheaper cigarettes and profit from criminal activity. When governments raise duties on tobacco, the price of cigarettes increases. Relative to people's incomes, tobacco has generally become more expensive over time, creating an incentive for some to switch to cheaper, illegal products. Analyzing data from 71 countries over 15 years, we find that making legal cigarettes more expensive leads to increased consumption of illegal tobacco. Across markets, we observe that when cigarettes become 10% more expensive relative to people's incomes, on average the share of illegal trade rises by almost 7%. Decisions and events that make legal cigarettes less affordable or less available risk turning people towards illegal tobacco. Beyond the timeline of our analysis, individual country studies have indicated that COVID-19 and consequent government interventions may have impacted smokers' behavior. For example, a UK study suggested that as many as one in six legal smokers may have used illegal tobacco during the UK's lockdown in spring 2020. Most governments invest in enforcement to tackle illegal trade, which can help. But our data indicates that cigarette prices are the main reason people switch to illegal tobacco. So enforcement cannot solve the problem on its own. Governments, industry bodies, legitimate tobacco companies, and enforcement agencies need to work together to tackle illegal tobacco. Our analysis shows the main reason people switch to illegal tobacco is affordability of the legal product. Enforcement can help control illegal trade if it complements tax policies that limit incentives for consumers to switch to illegal products in search of cheaper options.